Hello folks, today I thought I'd share with you a little review of uh, one of my new toys I just got and that's this little uh, bench top metal cutting bandsaw. I've been thinking about a bandsaw, a powered bandsaw for some time and I'd considered, uh, seriously considered in fact, one of those larger floor mount units that you can buy at Harbor Freight and other places. But frankly, floor space is a bit of a premium for me and I really didn't want to devote the space to it. And it's not like I'm cutting metal every day I'm not. It's a relatively infrequent uh, thing for me and uh, I didn't want to devote that kind of floor space so a little machine shop um, supplied this to me uh, got it a $20 discount on it recently and it just came in the mail the other day or was delivered the other day with UPS dropped it off. Very nice little unit it, it can be mounted permanently to a bench there's some rubber feet and a little accessory kit here with some Allen wrenches, spare uh, motor brushes, a separate handle here. Not sure yet exactly what that's for. I haven't looked it over. In fact, you can see I haven't even unpacked these parts yet. But uh, I got it basically for its form factor, its size. It should be plenty big for what I need to do for the kind of work that I do. I'm not making bumpers for cars, so I don't need a massive uh, piece of equipment. And it was reasonably priced, though they're not significantly less than one of those floor mounted units. But again, space was a premium for me, so I opted to go with this. I have plugged it in and, and, and made sure it worked, and it does. Um, but it's, I think it's going to be a sweet little unit for the type of work that I do. I'm not suggesting this is adequate or uh, would be the solution for everyone, but for me, I think it'll be just fine. And I'll get a little bit of, more of an up close here of it here uh, in just a second. Here's a little bit more of an up close view of the unit itself. You can see the, it's got a safety trigger there. Push in that black button in the upper right. Pull in the trigger inside of the handle and off she goes. And then you see of course the power switch right there, low and high speed. Use the standard blades that you should be able to get just about anywhere. You can see right there. 44 and 7 eighths by one half. Came with that little accessory kit. Kits, plural. Handle on the left, brushes and wrenches in the middle, and then rubber feet for permanently mounting to a bench. And then you can see the integrated clamp there that has some adjustment to it. You can pivot it, swivel it, and those kind of things. Not sure of the accuracy of the clamp. I have not checked it yet. I will do that eventually. But again, generally for what I'm making, um, precision cuts probably are not going to be a major concern for me. Obviously, it's 110 volt, 120 volt. Just plug it into the wall. I think it'll work fine for my application. Haven't used it yet. Maybe later on once I get using it and I uh, have some experience with it, I might do a follow-up video to share with you my perspective of how well it actually works. But uh, right now I'm quite optimistic this will be just about perfect for my needs. Thanks for watching.